Hello, Twitch. Welcome in, everyone. Thank you for that raid. Welcome in, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Today is a non-taco Tuesday. But tacos on, on your end of current is absolutely acceptable. Words. So I'm going to do sort of an Asian dish, sort of, well, it's probably more American Chinese uh, takeout dish. We're going to have some chicken tonight. Some, I've got some jasmine rice, which also makes it completely. And uh, yeah, I'm going to do all that good stuff. Let's get some coffee going. Hopefully everyone's having a lovely week. If not, you know, we're, we're, we're two-fifths out of the standard business week, at least here in the States. Three-fifths, if we're, if we're, you know, an Aus, an Aussie, or I don't even know if that's an insult saying it that way or not, and I apologize if it is. It's all right, it's a little early there still. Bachelor. I thought it sounded like an interesting combo. I took inspiration from a New York Times recipe for tonight, but it is certainly not the same recipe. I'm making it up.
New York Times recipe that I saw had it was more of a stir fry where they were going with the chicken raw. It's probably a little healthier the way they were doing it, the way that I'm planning to. I'm planning to do small pieces, cornstarch and fry, and then coat with a honey, uh, soy, and uh, jalapeno glaze. Words will, will start flowing eventually, maybe. I don't know, I'm rather quiet. throw a little sugar in here see if I got enough still left in here But for everyone new in, I always start my stream off, or 98, 99% of the time start my stream off with coffee. Just. Makes for a nice transition for me between rushing around, getting ready for stream to start, and then, oh, stream is starting, and allowing myself to. sort of snap into it. Come on, let's go. Wake up, Juan. There we go. Hello, bums. Hello, John Rando. Welcome, everyone. Cheers. Thank you for joining me. Some chicken. I bought some chicken thighs for tonight. Oh, actually, before we get into getting my hands dirty with chicken, let's switch over here to the Discord so that we can close this sort of lopsided sided vote for this week's ingredient challenge. as the plastic keyboard creaks. And so tomorrow night, I'm gonna have to work with cream cheese. That was a decent dad joke.
I'm okay with that dad joke. Just feeling around for any small bits of bone. The assembly line cleanups for these things are pretty ruthless, so. Yeah, I already, I already went after you once. Somewhere in with that. Even more so than when I break down a chicken. <laughs> it's actually sort of amazing. I wish I could actually see some of that tech that they're doing firsthand. Ah, forgot to switch scenes. No, that one.
butterflied the ends of these last two because I felt they were a bit thicker than the rest in that one section. Oh hey, there's our unwanted friend, autofocus. We're gonna have to fix that. I'm sort of lumping a bunch of stuff and I'm sort of the point chat where I sort of need to do a refresh on the whole stream layout and all that stuff and which I don't intend to change much but I I've been sort of delaying some things like that like need to actually figure out how to fix this autofocus problem that I have rather than just dealing with it every single night. Got it. That was the stove. Now for the board. Okay. Next up with the chicken. Cornstarch. Or potato starch. You can use flour for this too, but it's it's not. You, you want a cleaner starch. I think potato starch is probably a bit more common. With I think it's just cheaper for restaurant purchasing.
How we doing tonight, chat? Let your aggravations out on the rest of chat. Certainly won't be letting them out on me. that to set for a bit soak up stick on some of that starch and clean up my board my knife and get rid of the coffee stuff Exhausted. Too much video game playing. I was up late last night for no good reason. Okay, chicken's curing. Let's get the rest of the stuff of our sauce together here. We'll start with the soy and the pan. lemon juice.
honey, it's all stuck. garlic powdered onion Ginger. I'm not loving how that's working tonight. What is going on with this? Let's try that. Jalapeno. Jalapeno. I'm going to use that later on tonight. Not absolutely mincing these, but you know, 
relish size. Ugly Brunois. I don't know, somewhere between a small dice and minced. Brunois is smaller. I shouldn't have said that earlier. All right, I'm gonna throw that under a flame just to get it all to come together. Give it a taste for, uh, I'm gonna throw a little soy oil in there and uh, give it a taste and see need to change anything up there too salty not salty enough it's too runny we'll add a little starch from our chicken over here All right, I'm definitely gonna wanna thicken that up. and start preheating my oven for roasting the broccoli. Oh my, what is that? There we go. Yeah, I'll do a bit more starch in there. I know it's not a proper slurry. This is how you get starch bubbles, chat. All right, there we go. Now we got a nice thick glaze to going on there. We'll go with that.
it's pretty dark, Chef. It's not just the camera. It's, it's a pretty dark sauce at this point. I looked at the camera. It's like, it's like there's no bottom of the pan. that off to the side here and in its place we will pull this over here for easy access Another one of these horribly designed packages. There's a Ziploc on it. It's like, all right, where can I find a container for this thing after I open it? This is a mistake. I don't want to go into the pan with this. I want to rinse this rice. We take all the rice and give this a good rinse. Cold water. I generally like to use my spray hose and just spray it until water starts running clear.
I've been finding a uh, odd trend in rice recently. Maybe it's I just haven't noticed it until this now. But I am noticing that the cheaper rices need washing a lot more than the higher priced rices. And I'm just going to use water for this for the most part. I'll show you what else I'm doing, but I'm going to add one and a half to two times the water. I am going to assume this is two times. A lot of times they're saying one and a half these days, no. It's two to one. So we got our water and our rice here. I'm pretty bad about it myself, buns. At, at least at home. I mean, it would be a sin that you could never go without in a restaurant, but at home, yeah, it's one yeah, guilty. You've seen me do it on stream in the past. And as I was sort of getting to, is there's, I've gotten to the point where there's certain brands where, yep, I gotta watch these and other ones where, eh, do I need to? Can I skip this? But you should wash your rice. Everyone should wash their rice. It's gonna be better that way. Unless you want it to be a gooey, sticky mess. As you can see from that water, I could have done that a little bit better. In fact, I think I'm going to do that a bit better, looking at how cloudy that water is still. How are we doing over here on our oil? It's starting to feel warm over here. It's making me worry that we're getting too hot too quick. Oh yeah. We're gonna turn the heat off of that for a minute. Still cloudy, 
but I'm living with it this time. Lemon juice, or bottled lemon juice. Soy. Salt, pepper, MSG. Voice reverb, randomly, that I don't know why it's happening. Yeah, a little bit of oil of some sort. Mm, I guess I'll go with olive oil. And we'll set this back there on the back of the stove for when we're ready with everything else. One thing I'm going to add to both this and this that I mentioned earlier but didn't do already is a couple drops of sesame oil in both. Give our chicken a bit of a toss here. Careful with the metal spoon. Yeah, in fact, I'm gonna switch off to a spatula because I like the surface on this pan still. and care about it somewhat. Should have thought about that one a bit earlier. But here we are now. Next up is prepping broccoli for roasting. Oven's already up the temp, so we can throw that in as soon as it's ready.
Yeah, that's a pretty decent one. We'll save that one. No, I said we'll save that one. Not that we'll walk time. Brussels sprouts. You roast them until they are practically blackened. I like my Brussels sprouts essentially blackened. And I don't mean like spice blackened, I mean like basically burnt blackened. <laughs> Great for a soup, great for other things. These been sitting in my fridge too long now, they're gonna... I'm not gonna find another use for those in a decent time here, unfortunately. Crushed red pepper flake. One of the few acceptable uses of this weird spice that's usually mostly seeds. with a shire sauce. Throw a bit more oil in there.
And since these things are like mini mops, there's not a whole lot left in that bowl. There's a little spice attached to the sides, but not much savable there. Apologize for my cough there. I just realized I didn't mute. So, so sorry, chat. I didn't mean to cough in your ear. What else do we need prepped up here? We got our broccoli ready to go. Let's go ahead and throw our broccoli in the oven. And that's sort of going to set our timeline for everything else here. I am going to keep the same bowl that I use for tossing the broccoli, give it a quick rinse, and use that for coating our chicken here next. But we gotta fry our chicken first. So that is the next up on our task list. No oils. Good, good. Sort of thinking maybe I should have done a little heavier with the ginger on this one. Like this would probably be good sauce to get some fresh ginger for. I didn't think to do that for tonight, but ginger is always a key ingredient in American Chinese food. It's a key ingredient in Chinese food too, but a little bit less so than it is. It's in like everything that's American Chinese food. So that cooled down a bit in about 250, so it'll take a second for that to warm back up to 350-ish. We'll take this time to give this one more coat or one more toss in the cornstarch before it hits, before it gets lightly sifted and tossed in the oil. much easier to do that like I'm remembering back to one of the restaurants that I was working at that did, a, did similar dishes to this all the time and they had a starch box set up that was just so convenient I mean it makes no sense in a home to have one set up because it's gonna go nasty but 
in a restaurant where you're going through all of this chicken. It's essentially just a, a hotel pan with a lid that covers over the top of it so that you're not setting starch all over the entire kitchen. It is so handy, it's so nice. Makes me sort of want to develop like a station in my home kitchen where I can just do something and then push a button and it just cleans the entire station area. Like you. You use it to shake starch madly, and then you just push a button and it sprays all the walls down after you moved everything out of it. I know it would never work, chat. It's just another one of my harebrained invention ideas made on, on the spot. Wow, I guess that's actually a whole word. Harebrained? Not, not, not hero brine. Who knows with this caption system. We be getting there. I'm going to give that a stir, which will probably cool it down a little bit, but hopefully even the temps a little bit. I've seen about a 20 or more degree jump there, depending on where it was. Yeah. Now we're mostly doing the same. Down to my last filter, it's the perfect time to check if I got replacement filters, right chat? I got enough for tomorrow morning. I think I can find cardio nearby if I need to, but it used to be harder. They still don't, I think, import normally to the US. I think it's the case where it's a lot of resale market where you have people that you know, have a cafe and they're using them and they get a container full and then resell half the container to make it worth their time. That's one thing working as a mobile food vendor, packaging, like, I could have saved so much more money as a small business operator just having storage space for packaging. All right, let's go in with our first batch of chicken here. First frying batch. I'm just using my spider to get a little of the beginning excess flour off. Okay. 
And then because I just coated my spider in oil, switch over to my least fine mesh strainer. So this is just a simple cornstarch fry at this point. There's no real flavoring on these at all. We're, we're just getting that nice little crunchy outside shell there for our sauce to latch onto. Pekka. Right in with our second batch, though that might have been a bit early with that. How you been, Becca? I've been swell. I haven't accomplished much of anything, but I've had a fun time.
It's our oil temp bed here this time. All right, I'm gonna let that come back up to temp for before. Do my last batch here. While that is quickly doing that, I'm gonna take a decent pinch here of leftover green stuff. It's just some parsley. I'm going to toss that in the rice for a little color. Still not there with our oil temp. Still got another couple minutes till I want to throw the rice on. So we can probably throw the rice on a couple minutes early. Let's get the rice going too, which means I'm running out of places for non-flammable items. Use my least used burner here for cooking our rice tonight. Up here in the corner. Plain chicken. Not too exciting, but nicely, nicely moist. Cat to chat. Unfollows on something, leaves.
turn the flame off on the chicken. Last batch of chicken coming out here. Now, if I wasn't roasting broccoli and have the oven so hot, I'd throw this in the oven for a minute to keep it nice, keep warm temp. Put a lid on this oil so it's not as much of a concern. And now we're chilling, waiting on our broccoli and our rice, because our chicken's done. Mm -mm. Gonna be yummy. And since there's all the soy in this, I'm not really worried about, you know, adding a bunch of salt on this now. It was, I mean, this is pretty salty on its own. Like, that's probably too salty for some people, but it's, you know, right in my ballpark. Debating throwing a few more sliced nachos in with this whole batch. I think that's, I think that's a good plan here. What do I do with my fork that I got dirty earlier? Oh, there it is. I used it for this exact same thing. almost tempted to throw like one or two on top of the whole thing together. I will add chat, these are not the most fiery jalapenos I've ever had, these, these pickled jalapenos that I'm working with tonight. So don't look at this and be like, you know, not that jalapenos are all that hot to begin with, but you know, he's throwing way too much pepper in there. It's, they're sort of weak. How are you not boiling yet? It's been nearly five minutes and it's under a flame. It's not like it's under one of those lame electric outlets, you know, radio. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I wonder how anything gets done around here. bringing back some ooh I'm loving that sauce oh hey I got a bunch of twists in my back tonight Oh well.
Mmm, it was a bit early with the chicken chat. Still watching the pot. Your your old fairy tales will not get me. And I'm happy with that now, so I'm going to turn the heat off on that now. Allow that to continue. What kind of advice? I am not the guy to ask dating advice about. As you can see, I have been highly successful at that. Well, as it looks on my screen, it's incredibly way too dark, but that's because I use dark themes on everything. You know, I'm just gonna do this. I was gonna put the whole plate in there, but I'm gonna just put a pan in there because it's such a high heat that I don't want to throw a plate in there. That broccoli is looking lovely, so it's actually looking like we can actually stop that right here though. But I do want to give our rice another nine minutes or so. And so I'm canceling that oven, but keeping the timer. Yeah, I'm not using this for plating tonight. Love my old purple plates, but these days I pretty much only use them for like utility stuff because the, the, it doesn't really show up too much on stream, thankfully. But they have seen better days. I don't know how much I. Yeah, you can see a little bit of that. Yeah.
I was thinking as I came home from the store today that I should have got something else to go along with the drink with this. But I'm not a huge... Like, I haven't had enough sake. Like, I'm certain that there are sakes out there that I will love. Especially since it's, it's a very broad... It's like saying you like whiskey. Like, there are so many different types of whiskey. There are so many different types of sake. I don't know which ones I like or not, but I was sort of wondering what I wanted to do with dinner tonight, and I don't know if I'm going to do... Uh -huh. so let's just go with some bourbon. No, just, just any old bourbon. The house bourbon. Broccoli is looking yummy. Cause I like, I'm starting to like my broccoli almost like I like my Brussels. Like, I want some little bit of char. I want a little bit of bitter to go along with. Like, it's already a bitter veggie. It's sort of weird that I want to add a little bit more bitter there. But it does so well to pull out the umami and all the flavor. Oh, captions. Oh, captions. I gotta stop saying umami. On, yeah, captions. It's not even the like, ooh, mommy. And now we're getting a little, what? I'm not completely unconvinced that the kid running this caption site didn't Take it, hook it up to one of these uh, LLMs. It used to be to Google's. I don't know if he's still doing that or if he's changed the source. I think he's changed the source of who's translating. I could be wrong with that though. He still requires using Chrome, which you know sort of says still Google probably. Maybe Google's changed their stuff. That's probably that's that's probably what happened.
and give the rice another two minutes here. And we'll mix our parsley in and we'll get going here. Actually, we can get this. Um, I like the way it looks in that other plate. This, I say plate and it's just serving, but. I don't know how obvious it's going to be to anyone that I show. I haven't streamed my Minecraft stuff since the birthday night. And I have completely redone my base. At least the inside of it. Like, I guess my bed's still in the same place. My enchanting table is still in the same place, but I don't know if it still works properly because of all the other stuff I've changed. I don't know if I've messed up the, you know, the bookcase thing for... And I have spent a lot of iron and a lot of wood making many, many composters and many, many hoppers. And I'm maybe halfway done with that part of that project, much less. Like, I haven't even gotten into the thousand plus observers I'm probably going to need for this project. Oh good, we're done with our rice here. We can get going with the rest of dinner here. So throw a parsley in our rice. Nope, the handled raw chicken. Actually, hit this up with a bit of rice, a bit of salt too. We had salt in it before, but a bit more salt now. And when I say I've redone my base, I don't mean that I'm done. I'm, I've, I've just turned it into a giant construction mess. Like <laughs> my, my storage system is still pretty much in place, but everything around it 
pull the rice away from here. Pull our fun stuff out of the oven here. Chickens out, get our roasty toasty broccoli. Then chicken. Come back over here, we'll get our trivet. And we're gonna toss our chicken. Unsure why, but some of this has decided to stick its stuff to the paper during sitting in the oven. Again, restaurant just toss this in the air, not care about it getting all over the stainless steel everywhere. At home, a little more care in the stirring. I'm sure many people would bunt. But then again, there is that percentage. There we go, best of American Chinese, not quite Chinese, Wow, that was really weird how that caught my mic and popped in my ear. Hopefully that wasn't incredibly loud for everyone else. That was really weird. That was my chest freezer kicking on. Like it clicked on and but I heard it in my like really loud. So I apologize if that was loud, chat. That was weird. I throw a little sesame on top of that if you wanted to go a little bit extra with the garnish here. I've already got the sesame oil and everything, so it'd be a perfect garnish. I just don't have any sesame right now that I want to throw on there. Um, sesame does get rancid. You want to use fresh sesame or refrigerated uh, if you're going to use it as a garnish many times. If you're going to grind it, you're going to throw it into something where that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, but you want to use it as a garnish, you want the fresh stuff in my opinion. But I think this will call it for tonight. 
little bit of a quicker stream tonight. Two hours, well, that's about average, two hour stream. Gonna be back tomorrow night using cream cheese and everything. Because you, you, chat, you, you crazy people, you, you crazy amazing people voted that I have to use cream cheese and all sorts of stuff tomorrow. And if you want to say next week, you can add your own suggestions in the Discord. We could use a few extra dis uh, suggestions in the Discord. Welcome in, Zeeks. I'm looking forward to this. I'm certain it's tasty. Um, I've been munching on the chicken for a while now, waiting on everything else to finish up. I want to thank everyone for joining in tonight. Thank you so much. I hope to see you back here tomorrow night. Uh, I don't see anyone that I need to pass things off to here. So I think I'm just going to call it a stream. And uh, hope you all have a lovely evening. Good night.